Hello, everybody. This is the Ranting Ranger here. So, for today, we've got a review of this Starlight Studio Lord Draken Power Coin. And then we are also going to customize this Power Morpher and make it a Lord Draken Morpher by adding this Starlight Studio Green Lens. Because, of course, if it's Tommy, it's it's got to be green. So we're going to pop this coin out and take a good look at it. The Lord Draken coin, very cool. Starlight Studios, these guys are awesome. Now on the back, it's just plain. It doesn't say Power Rangers on the back. So we'll take the, the Dragon Zord coin. And on the back here, it says Power Rangers. So let's compare the the fronts. It's just so, so good. And uh, the weathering is so similar to the actual Bandai release. And then look at the backs. Tiger Zord and Draken Coin right there. The backs. Very cool. I want to say the Starlight Studio Coin is a, a, a little bit lighter than the Bandai release. But all we're gonna need today to do this is a screwdriver and of course our Draken coin and our Starlight Studio green lens. So let's, uh, let's take a go at it. We're gonna be taking these two screws out right here and right here. I've always wanted to have a Tommy release morpher, so it's it's very, very cool. I like the green lens because I feel like it works either way for a Tommy morpher. As JDF would say, uh, green always is better. So just taking these screws out the back here, use my coin there as a little screw holder. Don't want to lose those. Right, so these plates just came right off with those two screws. Make sure I don't lose these. All right, so now we've got our lens there. We're gonna take two more screws out. Oh, there's one. Very exciting to see uh, the story unfold in the Lord uh, Draken Shattered Grid Boom Studios comics. If you guys haven't checked those out, check them out. Great story. Hopefully Hasbro will maybe adapt some of those comics. There's the red lens. So you will need to take these clips out and move them to the green lens. So we're going to do that now. Take these red clips out, or the, the black clips out of the red lens. And then just put them right into the green lens. Make sure you're not stripping the screw or the new lens. When, you, when you're threading screws you, into plastic, especially, you wanna make sure you're, you're just not shredding the threads of the plastic so it is tight. And then they'll, they'll go on just like that. So let's put him back on here. And I wanna say, I'm gonna actually use one of these black screws here and put it in the front where the lens is kind of exposed when the morpher opens up, which will kind of give it a little bit more of a camouflaged look. When the morpher opens, you won't necessarily notice that screw. I also believe that on the Artisan, uh, Bandai Artisan release of the Dino Buckler, that screw there is also black. So if you're trying to get your morpher to look more like the Sentai. 
put your black screw from the back here and then put the silver one there. Let's put our plates back on. I've got this magnetic screwdriver, which really helps with these tiny screws. Make sure it's tight, but not stripping. You probably could use a smaller screwdriver, but the tip on this guy is pretty fine. So I, I don't mind using him for something like this, but you may want to use a smaller screwdriver, but the tip on this is pretty, pretty fine tipped. And there it is. I like how you can still see the red really good and clear through the green. So let's pop our Lord Draken coin in. And that just looks great. Pop him out. Put our White Ranger coin in. It still looks great. Pop him out. Let's put our Green Ranger coin in. It just it still looks great. You just can't go wrong with these. I think it, the green makes the gold pop very much. I love it. As JDF would say, if it's green, it's better. Even though he was two Red Rangers, I'm sure that he still had some love for the green when he was still the white. And of course, these lightning display stands are just the most epic thing you could be displaying these morphers on. Check out Starlight Studios. That's where we got the coin from and where we got the lens from. These guys have just been pumping out great products. So coming up, we're gonna be uh, doing a customization video on uh, the lightning collection power morpher. We're going to do some paint. We're going to do some stickers uh, to try to get that thing to kind of look closer to closer to these guys, the legacy line. So, and don't forget, we've got a thousand subscriber giveaway coming up, and we're probably going to be doing a brand new Lightning Collection Power Morpher for that. So like and subscribe, everybody. Ring the notification bell. Black Dragon Sword. Yeah, that's just so epic. I love how it's kind of like a darker green as well. So it's like it goes with that that Black Dragon Sword coin. It's it's great. So let me know what you guys think about JDF possibly coming back to reprise his role as Tommy, as Lord Draken, or possibly another multiverse version of Tommy having to battle Lord Draken. That could be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. So let us know in the comment section down below. We're having a poll going whether you prefer the plush dragon shield or the armored Sentai dragon shield, what is more nostalgic for you? Again, I'm the Ranting Ranger. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a lot of videos coming up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Plush Dragon Zord.